everyone, and welcome to a new video! Today we're going to look at a video made by one Quantum DV under his controversial truth video, where he says Gara is full of bullplop when being challenged on serving in the military, which Quantum TV has literally never done a day in his life. I have proof of that. Furthermore, Quantum lying about his military service really pisses me off, as every single male in my mother's immediate family served in the military at some point. Hell, my maternal grandfather served in the Korean War. So, we're going to watch this video as Quantum tries to convince us that he served in the military, and notice how I specifically said convince because foreshadowing alert, foreshadowing alert, it comes up later in the video, or rather, proves something about Quantum TV later in the video. So without further ado, let's begin. Open challenge for Gara, okay? Holy surprise, okay, today Batman! When did Darkseid Phil get here? Seriously though, Quantum, I hear enough okays from DSP to last me several lifetimes, and considering how much of a joke DSP is, then maybe, just maybe, unless you want to be compared to him, you shouldn't start your videos with open challenge for X, okay? Ah, crap, now he's got me doing it. First, this is gonna kinda tell you how bad you are at getting information. Uh, I don't know if you've read the letter that's on your screen, but uh, they told you that you don't have all the information needed to get my records. Quantum, the letter wouldn't even be there if the information needed to get it was not sufficient. The person who gave it to Gara also gave it to me, and they also gave me another one that I'll put up on the screen now. If the guy didn't have the correct amount of information to give them to search for your records, then their process wouldn't have gone through in the first place. So, Quantum, if the person didn't have enough information to get the DOD to give them this letter, then why is the letter there stating they couldn't find anything? Furthermore, the person filed no less than three times with the DOD, and the results came back the same each time. So, Quantum, now it's time for you to prove your side of the argument. If you have documents that you served in the military, where are they? There's a reason why they tell you we value veterans' privacies. It's because they know, like, socially awkward loser trolls like you get triggered and angry by what people say online and you try to start finding them in real life and trying to release their private information and you're trying to get into their personal life because you don't like what they say online, right? But at the end of the fucking day, you're literally doing all this as you hide behind an anonymous private profile. You're scared shitless of anybody knowing your real name or your location. But... At the end of the day, here you are, you're, you're, you're literally trying to, like, lie about my military service. Can you all see it? Can you all see the projection this man baby is spouting? I swear, I have never seen anyone project this hard outside of Dark Side Phil, and I include Acer Thorn in that, by the way. Another thing I'd like to ask Quantum is, why would anyone be wanting to look up someone who was in the military this badly because, based on what they said on the internet? Another thing is that Quantum actually stalked the act man, called his mother up, and basically threatened her. Oh, and if you're watching this far, Quantum, then tell me you didn't threaten the act man's mother without actually telling me you didn't threaten the act man's mother. Furthermore, Quantum, literally everyone hides behind a profile online. If we didn't, we would literally be doxing ourselves, you moron. So how's about you put your personal for information out there before you start going off on others for hiding their personal information? Or have you figured out why people hide their real name and face online yet? In addition to all of that that I've already said here, the only one lying about your military service is you, Quantum! So here's an open fucking challenge, kid. If you really suspect I've stolen Valor, go report it to the federal government. Have them investigate it. I guarantee you right now I'll come up just like your little request here. You don't have enough information, number one, and number two, you're incorrect. I was in the military. I'm not fucking proud of it. It's not, it's not some glamorous fucking thing. You don't get paid shit. It, it's, it's a bullshit fucking job. Long fucking stupid ass hours. I mean, what, what the fuck are you imagining here? You're imagining it's some glorious thing. It's not. For the service of the homeland? What homeland? You come back, everybody's fucking woke. You can't speak a certain way or you get canceled. Like, this is what it is. Like, fact, I regret serving pieces of shit like you, making it safer for pieces of shit like you. I regret that 100%. If I could undo it, I would. But, but again, you're not actually in the military. You're projecting ideas onto people to try to make them think some shit. Bro, you suspect me of false valor. Take all that so-called fucking information you got and go report it to the government. So I'm curious to hear this, Quantum, but what makes you think somebody hasn't reported it to the government? 
You act like you're innocent, yet when we ask questions like this, you basically insult and belittle us. You repeat yourself as if to say these things so many times as if that will make them true, at least in your tiny brain, just like with Dark Side Phil. Anyway, I hope someone is gonna report this to the government because once they find out that you've stolen Valor, then let's just say you're gonna wind up with a new butt buddy named Jim. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I don't know if it's gonna be a guy named Jim. Maybe his name will be Bob. I double dog fucking dare you, bro. Go ahead, go right ahead. Give them the start dates, give them the stop dates, give them all that shit that you think you got. Go run that shit to the government and have them investigate it. I promise you won't want a motherfucking thing happen to me because I was actually in the military. So then why don't you prove it, Quantum? It's, it's, it's amazing that a kid like you, who literally doesn't know me from Adam, projects to know so much. It's such bullshit. And again, what do I expect from a guy who calls himself Gara but can't even get the right picture? Obviously, you're going to get an inquiry about my military service wrong. Okay, can someone please explain to me what on God's green earth the picture Gara uses for his YouTube profile pic and all that? What does that have to do with him looking up Quantum's military records and getting the picture wrong? Can someone enlighten me there? Because I'm I must be missing something. I mean, like, for fuck's sake. You want to start playing adult games, but you haven't left a child's mindset yet. It's like all you socially awkward Elden Ring losers do this dumb shit. That's why you do hashtag Quantum TV, hashtag Elden Ring, hashtag Actman, anything to get you relevant, bro. Like here you sit with your fucking 2,000, almost 3,000 subscribers running your fucking mouth, bro, about somebody's military service because you don't like them online. That's all this really is. You want to, you want, you think like what? Wait, what? Is this supposed to hurt my reputation? I don't know if you've seen it, bud. My subscribers haven't fallen off. My revenue hasn't fallen off. Nothing's changed for me. I still make the same, I still do the same content. There's, you have no say in that. Okay, so once again, Quantum is projecting, saying that Gara is still nothing more than a child, when Quantum is the man baby throwing the temper tantrum here. Also, he brings up Elden Ring when Elden Ring has literally nothing to do with this apart from being hashtagged. Starting to regret that poopy take on Elden Ring, huh, Quantum? Also, Quantum, you were the one bringing up serving in the military, and when others looked up your military records, they can't find them, which in turn leads them to question if you've served, and instead of trying to prove that you actually have served, you instead choose to insult and belittle them just like a child throwing a temper tantrum when they don't get their way. Welcome to the real adult world, Quantum. It sucks when others out there don't actually worship the ground you walk on and blindly believe everything you say, doesn't it? Nobody's knocking on my door. Knock, 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 Mr. Quantum TV. We're here to arrest you for stolen valor. Because it's fucking fake. Because you're a bitch that literally got in your fucking feelings. That somebody doesn't like Elden Ring. Somebody didn't get terminated because Ackman started cancel campaign. Somebody didn't get a single repercussion out of all the fucking accusations you people levy. But again, much like all those accusations, you guys just spout false fucking shit. And here you are with more shit in your face, actual evidence that you don't know half as much as you thought you knew. It's in fucking writing on this video. Nobody's talking about that. Instead, all you idiots are clapping like it's some sort of smoking bombshell. And I'm like sitting here looking at this and I'm like, are you, are you fucking serious, my guy? Yes, we are fucking serious, my guy. Again, you say that what we have, the stolen valor accusations against you, are fake. Where's your proof that it's fake, Quantum? If it's fake, then show us some actual evidence supporting your claims of it being fake. Also, what does Elden Ring have to do with this again? And the only reason you didn't get terminated, which you would have if I or anybody else had been in charge of YouTube that day, is a major imbecile. Let's just say she's part of a group that thinks certain people out there literally cannot do wrong, even if they try. I'm not going to say the name of that group, but I'm pretty sure most people know who I'm talking about. You claim we're spouting, in your words, false fucking shit, and yet we provide evidence to back up our claims. Where are yours? Lastly, Quantum, it's smoking gun. Not smoking bombshell, smoking gun. Learn basic English phrases and idioms, you idiot. This this is this is your big move to like literally try to act like I wasn't in the military. That that's what you're go with it. F I mean, it doesn't hurt me none. I was in. That's like saying I'm not black. Okay, you can say that, but that doesn't get designed to make it fucking true. What the fuck? You sound stupid as shit. 
And the thing is, it's like, you're doing all this because you want me canceled. You want people to hate me. You want to vilify me because you don't like me. Well, bitch, I don't like you fucking either. Don't get it twisted. I think you're a socially awkward loser. I think you're somebody who needs a life, who needs to move on. What? Quantum, the only one who hasn't moved on is you, you idiot. Honestly, saying we haven't moved on. R remind me again, Quantum, because I keep forgetting this, but who is it here that lets Elden Ring live rent-free in their head again? All right, wait, that's right. It, it, it's you, Quantum, you imbecile. And for somebody who claims to have moved on back then, Quantum, you sure have been attacking a lot of other channels, even threatening Anonymous over on Discord. Please grow up, Quantum, and stop acting like such a salty cucumber cupcake, okay? Disconnect from the Wi-Fi, go touch grass, smell fresh air. You're fucking shut-in that all you can think about is how you can resort to this loser behavior for five months of trying to gather every piece of private and personal information you can. You were stalking my Discord, you're stalking every message I've ever written, and you're doing it to try to publicly shame and humiliate me and try to make me seem like a bad person. And at the end, nobody fucking cares. I still have over 70,000 subscribers. I still have my following in excess everywhere else, which you don't know about. And again, it's more of the same, bro. You haven't, you haven't done anything to impact my channel's existence. And I think for you people, that's what really pisses you off the most. Cancel culture failed. But again, coming after a man's military records, coming after a man's marital records, coming after a man's life, his professionalism as a photographer, coming after his expertise in the AV community, using like fucking the most out of context situations. You love to bring up that Paul Detect Giant shit like you were there. Like kids, stay in your fucking lane. You are not an AV YouTuber. If you ever try to step into my lane, boy, I will school you, son. Like, you are nobody and nothing to think that you could step to me when we talk about knowledge with TVs. Uh, Quantum? Quick question. How on God's green earth did we go from talking about looking up your personal military records to knowledge on TVs? I'm pretty sure Gara doesn't care about TVs or specs or anything like that. Hardly anyone does. So, how did this go from military records to knowledge on TVs. Man, what an ego Quantum has. Have you noticed that yet, folks? But here you are, trying to act like, and look at this, other AV, you're just, it's, it's all the sensationalism, kid. Get over your fucking self. Your cancel culture failed. Nobody gives a fuck. They're sick of you people milking it. Even on your own Twitter, your fans are telling you. It's time to stop beating a dead fucking horse. Because truth be told, all you motherfuckers that think that I did something wrong aren't changing your minds. But the people who still rock with me are still rocking with me, bro. Like you have done nothing and you continue to do nothing. Anonymous would like to have a word with you on this one, Quantum. I make this video though, because it's really like fucking annoying that you sit up here and running your little child fucking mouth about my military service, about my medical conditions that I live with every fucking day as a result of that service that you know nothing about. Okay, sorry to repeat myself, folks, but Quantum here keeps repeating himself. But where is your proof for these things, Quantum? And from what I've been able to gather, you don't have nerve damage. Because if you did, you would not be able to do those little dance moves that you used to do at the end of your videos way back when. It would literally be impossible. And, and, and you know, it's, it's this privilege that you have, this fucking entitlement that you have to somebody needing to always answer to your bullshit, to somebody always needing to fucking talk about my military service. Bitch, I was in the military. Get over it. I don't give a fuck. Well, Quantum, that right there pretty much seals the deal on you not serving in the military. If you truly served, then you would be showing off some blasted evidence to make sure that others knew that, hey, I served in the military. And yet you haven't shown evidence yet. And since you have decided to insult and belittle others instead of showing evidence, that has pretty much sealed your fate. But Quantum, let me tell you this, buddy. Everyone has to be able to prove themselves and their standpoints when they are questioned as it proves that you're not talking out of your chocolate starfish. I hold everyone else out there to that, and I expect them to hold me up to burden of proof as well. That goes not only for my enemies, but my friends and my family as well, as I have to look out for them the exact same way that they look out for me. You didn't go- you weren't there with me, bro, shooting in the gym? Don't act like you know me! The fuck out of here, dude! Like, I'm so sick of you motherfuckers, like, honestly, bro. At the end of the day, it is what it is, though. You're still gonna be a little child about it. You're still gonna be stupid. 
And at the end of the day, you're still going to be wrong. And you're not going to get any of my information. You're not going to get my military records, no matter how much you think you fucking know. You need to know when I was in and when I was out. And I've never volunteered that information ever, even on social media accounts, because I know trolls exist. Even back then, bro, I was careful with what kind of information I fucking released about that shit, bro. Take it or leave it. But that's your answer. Quantum, if you really did serve in the military, then the government knows whether or not you served in its military. Even if you don't show whether you've served or not, doesn't mean that the government can't. Anyways, Quantum can't do anything besides slander, harass, insult, and belittle. And as that's the end of Quantum TV's god-awful video, then that means that we have reached the end of my god-awful video. But before we go, I will say this to all of Quantum TV's little cronies, but please, for the love of God, stop leaving comments. Or at least comments telling me to just let this go. I know that all of you want me to just let this go. Well, I'm not going to let it go. I'll only let it go if Quantum TV either A, apologizes for all of his wrongdoing and is sincere about it, B, he leaves the platform entirely of his own free will, or C, if he gets permanently banned. But until then, though, I'm going to keep talking about him. I want some form of justice for getting a false copyright strike. But that is this video done. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now.